good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, welcome. My name is Edmund, and this is my ode to Isaac Newton. Many of you will have read my first ode, a poem I lovingly titled to the illustrious man Isaac Newton, and this, his work done in fields of the mathematics and physics, a signal distinction of our time and race, which you'll find a link to below. It is an English translation, but I'm sure you'll still be gasping with awe upon reading it. I think you will agree, though, that to simply write a poem for Newton does not do him justice. He is a man of many talents. He is a mathematician, a physicist, a visionary. Paying him tribute and written verse is a good start, certainly, but such a man as Newton deserves recognition in multiple art forms. So then, what better way to honor Newton than through a multimedia website, including a ballad and drawings I created out of admiration for his achievements? There is no better way. Not to mention these helpful videos you'll see as well. I find that it helps if I provide my art with a certain context. There are pedants who can't appreciate it without dissecting it for truth of content. My meanings are all true, I assure you, even if I may seem a bit false. Before you begin, take a moment to think about Newton, a man who stood on the shoulders of giants. Right hook. He wrote countless texts on religion and other books such as Universal Arithmetic, Optics, and my personal favorite, Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. He worked with and against some of the greatest minds of our world, Samuel Clark, Gottfried Leibniz, William Whiston, and of course, myself. Of course, none of us can even compare to his genius. Light, high. Who else but Newton could study all these great mysteries created by God in our world so well and still have time to study alchemy? Uh, of course, I'm not saying that Newton studies alchemy. <clears throat> no, of course not. Newton is, as we all know, a good God-fearing man who believes that divinity underlies all of his works. So, of course, he wouldn't practice such a thing that the church looks down upon like alchemy. No, 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 he wouldn't do that. <clears throat> Though he probably could if he wanted to. Now please, uh, look at the links below. Will you hear a ballad? View some drawings? Understand my inspiration? I have also provided some transcriptions so that when you inevitably speak to your friends about Newton, you may quote me with accuracy.